Hey guys, welcome to the video today. In today's video, I am going to go over some troubleshooting steps of why your Logitech K270 full-size wireless keyboard may not be working or may not be connecting to your laptop or computer. Before we begin though, I do have other videos on the Logitech K270 full-size wireless keyboard and I'll link those videos in a playlist at the end of this video. And if you're interested and have time, please check that playlist out. Okay, so this is the on-off switch on the wireless keyboard and then this is the wireless USB receiver. So I'm going to plug the wireless USB receiver into one of the open USB ports on my laptop and then we're going to turn the keyboard to the on position. And this is the first troubleshooting step. It's possible that your keyboard was just too far away from the wireless USB receiver um, and it wasn't able to uh, you know, communicate with the wireless USB receiver properly. If this fixed your issue, that's great. If not, we're going to move on to the next troubleshooting step. Okay, so the next troubleshooting step is with the USB wireless receiver. I'm going to take it out of its current USB port on my laptop and I'm going to plug it into a different USB port on my laptop. And just make sure that it's plugged in all the way. And if this fixes your issue, that's great. Um, it would let you know that you might have some issue with the USB port that the wireless USB receiver was originally plugged into. Um, if it did not fix your issue, we're going to move on to the next troubleshooting step. Okay, so for the next troubleshooting step, we need to turn the keyboard off, and we do that by moving this switch to the off position. I just did that right now. And now we're going to turn the keyboard over and we'll take a look at the battery compartment. Okay, so we're looking at the bottom of the keyboard and this is the battery compartment cover. And on the top of the battery compartment cover, it lets us know the correct direction for the two AAA batteries that are installed underneath. So that's the next troubleshooting step, is making sure that the two AAA batteries are installed the correct direction. If your batteries are installed the correct direction, the next troubleshooting step is to replace those with two brand new AAA batteries. Your keyboard's batteries may be too weak and not allowing the keyboard to communicate properly with the wireless USB receiver. I do have a video that shows you step-by-step step how to replace the batteries in this keyboard, and I'll link that video in a playlist at the end of this video, and if you're interested and have time, please check that playlist out. Okay, so if that resolved the issue with why your keyboard is not working, that's great. If not, we're going to move on to the next troubleshooting step. Okay, so for the next troubleshooting step, and this is actually the last troubleshooting step that I have to show you for this video, I'm going to open up this app right here. This is called the Logitech Unifying Software, and you can download this from the official Logitech website. Okay, so I'm going to open up the Logitech Unifying Software, and after you agree to the terms and conditions, uh, you will make it to this screen here. And on this screen, I'm going to select the advanced button, which will take us into this screen here. And then right up here, it shows that my keyboard is connected to the uh, wireless USB unifying receiver. And if I press a button on the keyboard, you can see how that icon lights up right there, letting us know that uh, the keyboard is communicating with the wireless USB unifying receiver. If your keyboard doesn't show up here, you can select this option here to pair a new device and it will take you into this screen here where it gives you some instructions on how to uh, try to pair your Logitech wireless keyboard with the wireless USB unifying receiver. And on this screen here, you can also select the next option and it will take you into this screen here where it will give you instructions on how to try to pair the Logitech wireless keyboard with the wireless USB unifying receiver. But for my keyboard, I can't make it past this screen and I think it's because my keyboard is already paired with the wireless USB unifying receiver. 
All right, guys. Well, that was it for this video, and I hope it's been helpful, and thank you so much for watching. And I hope that one of these troubleshooting steps was able to help you resolve why your Logitech wireless keyboard may not be working with your laptop or computer. And like I said earlier, I do have other videos on the Logitech K270 full-size wireless keyboard, and I'll link those videos in a playlist at the end of this video. And if you're interested and have time, please check that playlist out. Thank you again so much for watching. Please like, subscribe, and comment, and I hope to see you guys in the next video. Have a good one. Thank you guys for watching. Please like, subscribe, and comment, and if you have the time, check out these other great videos.